Hello everyone, my name is J.B. Portello and I'm your host for a brand new show brought to you by the Bella Vista uh, Property Owners Association to keep you in the know. Hence the name of the new show. We're going to be able to introduce to you various people from the POA itself. Today's guest will be Tom Judson and he has all kinds of exciting new uh, things to share with you. Uh, one of the really cool things that we're going to do is try to help you get through some of the rumors that are out there. So stay tuned. We'll be with you in just a second with our guest for today, Tom Judson. Tom, of course, is our general manager of the Bella Vista Property Owners Association. And I'm so excited today because we have so many things in store for you. For example, we're going to dispel your favorite rumor. And we're going to talk about coffee in questions and the direction that it's going. Um, we're going to also talk about the budget, the beach, uh, the renovations that are happening right now at Branchwood probably, and the uh, potential new Reardon Hall. Other things too. Hi Tom, how are you today? Thanks for having me, I appreciate it. You are so welcome. What would you like to start telling our folks about? Maybe the, why we're doing this? Well, why we're we doing this? So uh, we've been, uh, I've been holding the coffee and questions for ever since I got here. Mm -hmm. And we hold two a month. Uh, and unfortunately, the attendance on the second one has really dropped off. We're averaging under five. Oh. And so we're just not getting the information out there. Uh, and so what we thought uh, was that by doing a show like this, that people could watch uh, on their iPad in their own living room, yes. uh, we would get more information out about what's going on with the POA. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll still have a Coffee and Questions. We're going to continue to have the one that uh, takes place on the second Tuesday of the month at 10 a.m. Okay, and that's where? It's at Reardon Hall. At Reardon Hall. Okay. Just it, like always. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, and then this show will come out the first week of the month. Mm -hmm. And what that, the, it benefits us in that it's just after the board meeting, mm -hmm. which takes place in the previous month on the last week. Right. So we can talk about thing, decisions that the board has made. And then uh, if someone has additional questions that they have that are, that, that come up as a result of the show, they can come to the coffee and questions the very next week and ask me in person. Excellent. That's perfect. And we'll have other members of the POA uh, talking on the show all the time, depending on Absolutely. what's happening. Absolutely. You definitely don't want to talk to me all the time. Oh, that's not so, but okay. <laughs> I hear you. Uh, okay. So once a month, and we're going to do this on the second Tuesday of the month. No, that's that's the, the coffee, coffee and questions. questions. Okay. And we're going we're to release this the first week of the month. That's right. That's right. Okay. I understand that the 2018 budget has been approved. It sure has. Would you like to expand on that a little bit? So I wanted to cover some of the uh, some of the kind of fun things that we have working in the coming year. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of capital projects coming our way. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one uh, that uh, is really neat, and it's actually technically was approved in 17 earlier in the year, is the beach at Lake Avalon. Uh, and if you haven't been down to it, uh, it, they've really done a lot of work already. Uh, the beach area is already in. Mm -hmm. They were adding sand yesterday. Uh, the uh, check-in hut is already uh, uh, constructed in there. Uh, the swim area, we've already, uh, we, when we lowered the lake, we cleared out any underwater debris. We wanted to make sure nobody would get injured at the beach and so sure. forth. Sure. Uh, the parking lot is already done. Mm -hmm. Uh, the uh, old light poles have already been removed and the underground electrical has already been added. So we've, we've got a lot of uh, progress done. Uh, and uh, what we were thinking of is one of, in one of the future shows, we may have uh, our director of recreation, Joan, uh -huh. uh, maybe do an on-site location and she can give everybody a tour and show everybody what we're going to be doing at oh, the Oh, that beach. would be so much fun. So it's not just talking heads. It's real Absol stuff. Absolutely. Okay. That's so, so we're very excited about the beach. Okay. Excellent. Well, you know, a little closer to my neck of the woods because I see the activity that goes on there all the time. Let's talk about Branchwood a little bit. That's so, exciting. Yes. So Branchwood, we just completed the uh, parking lot expansion. Mm -hmm. We added uh, 29 additional parking spots. Uh, it's always a good problem to have when the parking lot is not big enough. Yes. <laughs> uh, and when it's being, you know, because the popularity of the Branchwood Trail is just 
fantastic. It is. Um, so, and, and we knew that we were going to do uh, the expansion and renovation of Branchwood. So we started with the parking lot first. Uh -huh. And that lower right-hand section, we're going to actually turn that into our trailhead for the overall trail. And Great. so we're going to have an eight-foot path That'll go 550 feet that will connect with the Branchwood Trail, which is also an eight foot path. So it'll, it'll encourage people to park over there. Um, it'll just be very convenient for people. Mm -hmm. uh, with regards to Branchwood, um, we're gonna renovate the exterior. It's gonna get a new paint job. We're gonna have a new, um, what we feel a more welcoming entryway mm -hmm. with uh, stonework and a gable roof. Uh, and then the interior is going to be completely renovated because that building's showing its age. It is. It um, is. The bathrooms are going to be completely redone. Uh, they're in very, very bad shape. Uh, and then we're going to add an expansion off to the back, and we're going to move the uh, fitness equipment into that new expansion, mm -hmm. which will be larger than the current fitness area okay and then the current fitness area will be turned into a multi-purpose room where we can do yoga silver and fit birthday parties so forth okay. uh, so it's going to be a major renovation of the building uh, with the pool area the pool is in is in good shape we're going to drain the pool we're going to acid wash it and uh, the nasty ceiling tiles that are in there, we're going to completely re redo those area, that the that ceiling and so forth. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's just it's a high humidity building uh -huh. in that area, and so it's just showing its age, a lot of rust and so forth. So uh, we're very excited about it. Uh, the construction should start uh, the first uh, part of February. Okay, uh, that'll be on the expansion. Okay, uh, we'll keep the rest of the building open while they're doing the expansion area uh, for about three, four weeks. Okay. Uh, we may have to have a closure here and there because when they need to move the electrical, so forth. So we may have to close a day here or there, but we'll be uh, that'll gain us four weeks. Uh, and then we'll be closed for, uh, you know, I never want to peg myself down, but probably 14, 15 weeks. But we're going to open up one of the outdoor pools early so we unfortunately are going to have to inconvenience some of our property owners, but we're trying to reduce that inconvenience as much as possible. Yeah, but it'll all be worth it. And anyway, the classes can still be held at Reardon or at Medfield. That a lot of the classes, but the water the aerobics water part, classes, yeah, they they can't. And 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 we need to do our best to to. We know there's going to be an inconvenience, but if we can reduce the inconvenience, that's our goal. Okay. Well, that sounds awesome. I'm excited about that personally. Right. Uh, bunkers. So the bunkers at uh, at Dogwood. Uh, Dogwood. Uh, so I, you know, I think you know that we uh, renovated the bunkers at Scottsdale yes. at the Country Club at Highlands, mm -hmm. uh, and now it's Dogwood's turn. Uh, and so we're going to do that during the winter time. Uh, it'll take about two months, uh, but we've had great success with these new bunkers. Keeps the rocks out. Keeps. Uh, and, but it drains amazingly well. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, we can, it, it, it saves so much on labor because it drains so well uh, that we can uh, get those bunkers going again very quickly after a storm. Okay. So we're excited about that. I understand. Uh, and you were talking a little bit, uh, a pool, the Metfield pool re renovation. What's happening there? Correct. Well, the decking over there is, the decking in the buildings are in, they're showing their age. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the, uh, the state inspector last year when we got it opened, he really was like, wow, you need to, you need to put some money into this place. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it's showing its age, so we're going to be renovating the decking and, and some of the building. And, and uh, you know, it's, one, it's, it's a very highly used pool, and we have a lot of kids on the east side, and that's on the east side. So we need to put some money back into that pool area. And that's w the one that's going to open early? You said something about pools No, the one early. that's going to open early will actually be at Reardon. At Reardon, uh, okay. And it will be the adult pool only, and we'll only open it up on certain t for certain times uh, just to accommodate those uh, those fitness classes. I gotcha. Okay. All right. So uh, also the playground equipment. I was over there the other day. That's a pretty good looking playground, but you're going to do even more? Well, if you look closer, uh -huh. the playground equipment's fairly old and it's starting to show its age. Okay. Uh, so we're actually, uh, what uh, Joan and her team are working on right now is a complete master plan of our playground equipment. Ooh. Because all our play playground equipment, it's 
it was prob they probably need to be replaced a decade ago. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> they need some they need some work, uh, and so uh, they're going to actually develop a master plan. We're actually looking at. Uh, the possibility, possibility of adding a playground uh, at uh, the beach, because oh. we know we're going to have a lot of kids at the beach. Yes. Uh, so they could, you know, they could go from the water and then go on a slide and go on a jump. You know, all those things. It would be, it would work out very well. Absolutely, it would. That sounds great. And then you're talking about even the tennis courts. So the tennis courts, uh, you know, as with most tennis courts, they get large cracks. So we're going to do a complete renovation uh, for those mm -hmm. uh, with a new technology, a new way of doing it that holds them together. I'm not an engineer, so I'm not going to go into describing it. But we feel that it's going to uh, it's going to hold up very well, and the cracks it'll prevent the cracks from happening. Or if the cracks ha cracks happen happen, they happen, you know, further down the road. Gotcha. Do you play tennis? I try to. Yeah. You do you really? Yeah, I do. I enjoy it. Uh, I have. I've never done that, but someday maybe I'll just go watch. Yeah, Allison, <laughs> my wife and I, Allison and I play every once in a while. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, good to know. Uh, okay, water meters. What about the water? Water meters. meters. Okay, so uh, the POA runs the water utility, right? And uh, the average lifespan for a water meter is about ten years. Okay. And our water meters average in age between eight and thirteen years old. And right now, what's as they get older, they're 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 failing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, when when a water meter fails, and I got to clarify that, and I'm not a water meter expert, so you got to forgive me if I get anything wrong. But when a water meter fails, it it's still we can still record how much water you are using. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's almost like an odometer on a car. Gotcha. You can still get that. But what we can't do is we can't get the data out of it, and it makes it much harder. When we're taking, when we send our meter readers out, so mm -hmm. um, they're starting to fail. We're we're, ha we're averaging right now 361 failures per month. Oh, and that's a lot. Yes, and and in some cases they're they're failing in batches. You know, maybe uh, decades ago, uh, an entire neighborhood was built at the same time. Yeah. Well, they're failing. The, we're having the entire neighborhood fail all at one time because they were all put in at one time. So sure. it, it makes sense. I mean, it, it's almost, it's not exactly, it's almost like when you when one smoke alarm in your home, the battery goes dead, uh -huh. all the other ones go dead at the same time. At 2.30 in the morning. Uh, absolutely. That's how it always happens. <laughs> so, um, you know, they're seeing their age. Uh, and right now we have three meter readers and they drive in these predetermined routes uh, and they have to get within, you know, a couple hundred feet of each meter and it reads it okay mm -hmm. if it fails they have to actually go to the meter and read it at the site and then that meter then has to get uh, replaced um, so with this new technology it'll be cellular based oh. uh, so with literally a click of a button they can get all that data they can have all 13,400 meters read in the same in a, on the same day the way this is going to help our property owners is right now let's say you have a leaky toilet mm -hmm. or you uh, left your hose on okay so and let's say your meter was read on the first day of the month and let's say you left the hose on on the second day of the month mm. it's going to take us an entire month to come knock on your door mm -hmm. and go hey we're seeing 24 hour usage. Okay, so our, our we can analyze the usage and we can see if you use it 24 hours straight, which is not normal. Right. You know. Right. Uh, and so uh, often our team will bring out uh, blue blue dye packs and you put it in your tank and if you if the if the dye goes into the bowl, then you know you have a leak. Mm -hmm. um, and in fact, I personally had to replace one of my toilets because it was leaking. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, and it was leaking in the middle of the night. Uh -huh. um, so, but with the new system, we'll be able to tell a property owner within 48 work hours. Excellent. Two, day, two work days uh -huh. um, if they have a leak. Right. So we can cut that response time down from 30 days down to, well, two work days. So maybe two to four days we can let a property owner know, we think you have a problem. Mm 
Now, maybe you don't. Maybe you, for what, maybe you're doing a lot of laundry in, middle, in the middle of the night. <laughs> but we'll be able to let a property owner, owner know right away. Oh, I think the that's amazing. The other neat uh -huh. feature of this is that you know this is these are high quality meters. They're going to be warranted for the entire 10-year period. So if they fail, they get replaced at no cost. Um, you can also download an app to your mobile device. I can do that. You can do that. Okay. And you can track your usage. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. So um, I was one of the initial guinea pigs. So I actually have one of the new meters on my home. Uh -huh. And the day that my daughters got home from college, <laughs> we, you know, a lot of laundry. Right. You know, I, they must be taking Hollywood showers. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah. But our water usage went way up on the exact good? day. And you can actually look on on uh, the app and you can see how the usage goes up. And you can even go in and you can set your own alarms. So let's say, okay, well, you know, just in case the, the water utility doesn't pick up the 24-hour usage, I'm going to set that up on my own phone. Uh -huh. So you can control your own usage and you can see how you're using the water and whether you can conserve and save some money. So when is that going to happen? Uh, we anticipate it'll start in early, early 18, uh -huh. but uh, since we're talking about 13,400 yeah. meters, it's a six month install. I got gotcha. you. Okay. So, so, so it'll take a while, but it, this is a large project. We're talking $3.6 million project. Uh -huh. Uh, but I really got to compliment the crew because they interviewed five different companies that offer water meters. Mm -hmm. They did their homework. Uh, they they uh, investigated Russellville, which is a, a, a city, a town that is of a similar size water utilities as, as us. They investigated. They went and saw the same type of meter that we are going to have installed. So they did their homework. They gotcha. did their due diligence to make sure. Uh, plus, this this was the low of all the five bids. This was the lowest bid. So we're, we're very pleased with the quality, uh -huh. uh, the, the uh, reference checks, and they were the low bidder. Uh, and so we're very pleased, but it is a major under, I mean, $3.6 million, a lot of money, but we need to do it. They're dying, so we might as well go through and uh, get it get it done now. Uh, in fact, what we're doing is ever since the board approved this capital project um, in the in starting in January, any meter failure that occurs, we will go with a new meter. So gotcha. we're, we're not going to put in an old meter and then six months later put in a new one. We're going to just go with the the the, uh, the new ones, the Badger meters. Gotcha. That sounds very exciting. You know very what? Exciting. Let's do something fun for just a second. Sure. You want to? Absolutely. I know that you, I, I know I hear about a lot of rumors on Facebook and even mm -hmm. talking to people and doing things and all that. And I was just curious, what's your favorite rumor going around right now? Um, so my favorite one is that uh, our new chef has left. I saw him last night didn't I absolutely that's what I thought absolutely so um, I heard the rumor mm -hmm. uh, so I gave Scott a call and I said you know I, I have a feeling it's a Bella Vista rumor but I just want to make sure and he goes I'm happy he goes happy he, so he, he's it's it, it's it's fortunately yes it is a uh, false rumor gotcha. uh, you always got to be careful what you read on uh, on Facebook Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I totally agree with you. So I'm glad to know that because I really like Scott. We're, we're, <laughs> we're really pleased with the job he's doing. Yes. Uh, I had a meeting uh, a couple weeks ago uh, with uh, Scott and with Tommy, and we were going over some of the menu modifications that we're, they're going to make for the coming year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we, we haven't even, Lake Point hasn't even opened a year. I know. Uh, and, you know, we're, we're learning what, what our customers want. Right. And what they don't want. Right. Uh, and so we're, we went through, we're, we're going through that data and saying, okay, well, they want this, but they don't want this. And we're modifying, we're getting ready to modify our menu and roll it out in the coming year uh, based upon what our customer is telling us that they want. I'm so glad you're doing that because I love Lake Point. But every now and then, it would be nice to have a surprise when you walk in Absolutely. there. On Absolutely. The menu. You've, we've got two things coming up, I know for mm -hmm. sure, at Lake Point. And the first one's already sold out. And that's the Christmas Eve 
the brunch. brunch. Yes. Wow, I was a little so, late. So, uh, coincidentally, Allison and I were uh, having dinner the night that the connections came out, uh, which is the mailer that is included in the water bill. Yes. Uh, and that day, they booked a hundred reservations. So we were having dinner, and Kelly came by. She was very excited yes. because we sold out. Uh, the downside is we sold out, and we have a lot of property owners that wanted to come and uh, come to Lake Point uh, for their Christmas Eve brunch. So we looked at a couple different options. We looked at maybe having the brunch on the Saturday beforehand, but it just you know with dinner that night, it, it, we just didn't feel that that was going to work. So what we've done is we've added a New Year's Eve brunch. And I think we're already at 100 reservations on that. So if you haven't made your reservation, please do, do so it as soon, now. As, as, soon yes. as possible. Because yes. you know, we can only accommodate so many people. Yes. So. Well, you know what? We have a little bit of time left. And I think a really important thing for us to talk about is the, the big gorilla in the room, the hydrology study. And I know you have news. Yeah. So uh, we're getting close to the study is, being, is almost done. Mm -hmm. uh, originally, it was supposed to be done at the end of December. Uh, but there were some delays. Remember, you know, and I'm not blaming anybody, but we're working with the city and they have sp particular needs. Sure. And by working with the city, we were able to save money on the overall study. But, uh, but uh, the number of uh, cross sections increased. And so that delayed the, um, the when the results are going to be out. So you want it done right. And you we want, want it, it done yes. right. We don't want to race it. Right. Uh, and so what we're, what we're doing is we've set two dates, March 13th at 10 a.m. at Reardon Hall, mm -hmm. March 15th at 4 p.m. at Reardon Hall. That's when we're going to release it to the community and seek community input based upon the findings of the study. Excellent. So it's a little bit, uh, you know, we're asking our property owners to be a little bit more patient. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I don't want to do is I don't want to set the time for the meeting and then for whatever reason we have to delay again. I'd rather just, let's have it in March. Right. Uh, so uh, those are the two dates and we're going to be getting those out via email. Uh, or, or e-newsletter mm -hmm. uh, so that our property owners will be able to attend. We anticip I anticipate uh, a lot of people will be in attendance. Well, and we'll be sure to have it on our In the Know show. Absolutely. All the time. Absolutely. I, I'm, that's awesome. Okay, so I think probably for today we've, my goodness, they know a lot more than they did 30 minutes ago. I agree. And I am so excited that we're doing this because I think this is a great way to get the information out to the community. And I'm very proud to be part of the show. Well, I'm very pleased that you uh, volunteered. So, for next month, I suppose that we can look forward to maybe talking about the new country club. What do you think? Absolutely. Okay? Absolutely. Okay. So, for now, uh, for this month's folks, uh, you're in the know. So, stay tuned next time for additional information, and we'll see you then.